YouTubers, I just wanted to take a quick second out. I'm usually particularly very busy, but I got a little time today. I'm only doing one back glass. As you can see, this is going to be some tent fix repair going on. It has a lot of bubbles from old film that's bubbled up and turned purple. So what I'm going to do is show you guys what I use and how I strip off the old bubbled up film. Most people think this is a very difficult process. Some, for some vehicles, it can seem a little bit difficult, but it's really not that difficult. Me in particular, I like to use the, uh, and everyone is different for their preference on use of what they use to strip film. There's the people who like to do the trash bag method. And then there's uh, people who like to get the, buy the $200 steamers to, you know, look professional. And I guess, you know, in some cases it does work somewhat fast. But I use a clothing steamer from Target. It lasts me usually about three years, depending on how many times I drop it. But three years is good enough for me. I pay about 50 bucks for it at Target. And it's a Conair clothing steamer. And this is what it looks like. Water goes in there, fill the whole thing up. It usually lasts about 30 to 45 minutes. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, an hour actually, if you fill up the whole thing, 60 minutes. There's the hose and there's the heat there. As you can see, this film is kind of coming off in pieces right now. Um, and actually it's coming off in layers. Uh, the first layer turned purple there's a little piece of scrap of it right there. That's the old purple part that came off first. Right now, I'm trying to get off the clear layer. As you can see, it's starting to peel slowly. Basically, what I do with the steamer, I just take it and I put it in the area I want to start peeling first. And I just let it just hover in that area for about a minute or so. Um... This steamer, it gets pretty hot. Um, just depending on how long the old film has been on there, you know, is how you want to, how long you want to base, you know, how long you want to leave it hovering in that spot before you start peeling. Or whenever you start seeing it, seeing it fall by itself, that means it's ready to be peeled off. So I can, I've had this here for a good little second. So I'll just put a little bit. And as you can see, it just slowly peels just like a sticker. And with old film, it tends to peel off in pieces like this is doing right now. So you may have to take your time a little bit. I mean, or you can use a trash bag method and see how that works for you. But me, I like to use the steamer and this is what I've been using for years still using this one has lasted me so far about two years so far but i've probably been on i've probably been through like three or four of them maybe over the last 10 years so yeah to each their own i do it because it's you know cost efficient for me it's low cost and it still does the same job the 200 300 dollars steamers do so 50 50 bucks clothing steamer from target try it out see how that works for you if you guys have some old film that you need to strip you can use that or you can use it to steam your clothes but anyways i'll give you guys a little bit more of a view on how i'm taking this film off and i'll continue with my day You gotta be very careful not to get your fingers caught in the way too because this steamer gets very hot. I recall once one time stripping the tin in a convertible coupe and I was sitting in the back seat doing the side window and just a little drop fell and hit my 
my shorts, my thigh area, but through my shorts, and that little spot of uh, steam that dropped and hit my leg, it bubbled up, made my skin bubble up. So this does, that gives you an example of how hot this gets. Yeah, you just want to get it hot enough to soften the film or soften the adhesive to where the film can come off with the adhesive at the same time. Yeah, you always want to try to get it all off at the same time versus taking a film off and then taking a glue off because it's basically you just want to do less work, pretty much. <clears throat> less work you do, the quicker you can get your job done. But be efficient at the same time. Make sure you do everything, you know, cross your T's, dot your I's, all that type of stuff when it comes to your work. I always want to satisfy your customer to the point where you don't want to see that customer again for no problems. The only time you want to see your customer again is when they're spending some more money. That's the only time you want to see your customer again after you after you've done some work. So I don't want to have any problems, so I'm going to be as efficient as possible, efficient as possible. Make sure there's no more bubbles in this film. Make sure it's squeegee properly. Making sure it's clean before I give them the car back. You know, wipe the window down. Simple stuff like that. I used to not do that, but customers didn't mind. But, you know, I like to go the extra mile. And I use a little chamois to wipe the windows down because it's faster. It doesn't leave streaks when you wipe. Um, but, yeah, it's, you know, I'll just wet it with some water and squeegee, uh, squeeze it out and wipe the glass down real fast it doesn't take long to do but little things like that mean a lot to your customers and that's what keeps them coming back and that's what's keeping me in business guys i've been doing window tint for about 10 years now so yeah i got a good bit of experience so yeah this is going to take me a little while. Pretty sure you guys get the point on how this comes off. Also, I use an Ofa blade to kind of poke at the edge that I'm trying to peel. You know, that's this helps me too. I just take the tip and just kind of pick at it until you get an area that's peeling up. And then once it gets down far enough, then that's when I, you know, peel it some more. But keep the steam on it. The steam softens the adhesive. The adhesive gets softened. That's what makes the tint come off with the adhesive at the same time. All right. Hope you guys got some good tips. Uh, I'm going to get back to work and try to finish. You know, I got a lot of stuff I got to do today. So have a good day, guys.